Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me in today's video where I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon Violet. Now then, in the last video, I had just defeated Arvin and was on my way to school. So, let's hop right in. Right on. South Province, Area 1. Look, Crominator, that's Mesagoza. Oh, damn. That is also very poorly textured. Holy crap. Up close, everything looks amazing, but once you start getting looking towards far away things, it doesn't seem to load in that great. That huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class, Crominator. But all that schoolwork. Don't think of it as schoolwork, think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. I don't have to do chemistry, do I? Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? As long as I don't have to do chemistry, I don't. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff, as far as the eye can see. Why do those trees look so fuzzy? And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon! Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea! But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Why, yes, yes, it is several miles away! Let's make it to Los Platos for starters, that's right on the way. Vamos, come on! Let us go! Can I ride ca Can I ride Maridon yet? I know that you can use him as a bike. So how do I do so? Let's see. Bag. Pokeballs. Maridon's Pokeball? Use! The director. Master Crominator, this hardly seems the time or place. But, but, but I want to, to ride the world on top of my Maridon. Hiya! You wanna fight? Holy crap, you're short. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle! Oh. Cool. Youngster Elliot. Tarantula. Ah, fool. Your pathetic bug type will do nothing to me. Burn! Good job, Reaper. Who's an adorable little Reaper? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're such a cute little crocodile. Struggle bug? Huh. That, that was the only Pokemon you had. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? Well, yes, yes they are. Come on, buddy, let's go. Psyduck? Psyduck. Cloud Nine, the effects of the weather. Psyduck can have Cloud Nine? I did not know that. Ow. Alright, let's weaken you a little bit, and then I'm definitely gonna catch you and put you on my team. Water Psychic Titan. Use. Yay! And I still have plenty of Pokeballs. Nice. You're mine, Psyduck. Ooh, my Fletchling leveled up. Quick attack. If it's chronic headaches peak, it may exhibit odd powers. It seems unable to recall such an episode. You shall be called... Xavier. I want you on my party. Who do I want to replace, though? 
Eh, I already have a bug type. And it's one that I'm more interested in evolving. Side up down. Oh, hey, we got weasels. Any other interesting Pokemon? Ooh. Where am I going? I have no idea. But that's right, this game is open world. So it is my choice where I go. And I'm gonna go exploring. <gasps> Eagly. Yeet! Hey, stop hiding! Coward! Yee wee coward! Face me like a diglet! Oh, look at you. Alright, return. Let's get. Let's fight this weasel thing. Bring it! It has come to my attention that maybe I shouldn't have brought out Reaper against the water type. Ha! Never mind, the idiot's using tackle! Or maybe he's just fighting honorably. And seeing as I'm not using any super effective, he's not using any super effective. But it's literally impossible for me to use super effective, so I'm gonna shut up now. Buzel. It inflates its flotation sack, keeping its face above water in order to watch for prey movement. Yes. I'm going to name you... Ha. Because he is my otter... She is my otter ha. I regret nothing. Sorry, Xavier. We barely got to know you, and yet I've replaced you already. <laughs> Hi, bird. Ah, crap! You managed to scramble back out of the water. Okay, I can't swim, apparently. Yay! I got it by surprise! You caught the wild diglet off guard. Wiglet. Please tell me he's not gonna try and run. Gooey! Why are you gooey? Wait, I can catch Pokemon off guard? That's a thing? Interesting. What the frick? What's going on? What was that? Though it looks like Diglett, Wiglet is an entirely different species. The resemblance seems to be a coincidence. A coincidental result of environmental adaptation. Oh yeah, that's what they were like. Would you like to give Wiglet a nickname? Yes. I shall name you... Wiggles. And then I'm adding you onto my team instead of the badger thing. Ha. Because I'm really curious to see what Diglett evolves into. What Wiglet evolves into, I mean. Because I'm assuming that it has a different evolution. Any new interesting Pokemon? No, just a bunch of Psyduck. And a couple of... The hell are you? De look. What the hell was that deerling's face when it turned around? Burn it. It's too powerful to be left alive! It is a threat to us, so kill it! Or that, that works too, because now I can catch it. Wasn't expecting to find a deerling hanging out around here. Nice. 
I'm definitely gonna add you to my team. You'll be interesting. Quick attack. Despite dear, <clears throat> despite dearling's adorable appearance, farmers consider it a nuisance since it loves plant shoots and will eat them all up. Yes, you shall be named. Oh, you're a boy. This is perfect. Bambi. Again, never said I was creative with names. And your spring form, interesting. Let's get rid of. Hmm. Chubby. I'm probably going. To, uh, I'm probably going to make many people angry with this statement, but I'm not really that fan. Not much of a fan of Lechonk. I don't really get why so many people went insane for him. Like, I mean, yeah, he's cute, but he's not like superb. Hmm. Got a bunch more of those flying radish things. Hello, friends. What the hell? Why is it so glowy? Oh, it's a TM. Sweet. Where am I going? I have no idea. To adventure! And probably getting very, very lost. Who needs to follow the main story when you can travel the land catching all of the Pokemons? Or not, because there are like no new Pokemon hanging around here. Pokemon? Ah, hey! I see you hiding back there! God damn, this is so cool looking! Is that a flamingo? Got him! Flamigo. Really? You're, you're a flamingo named Flamigo? That's just bad. Is round an attack move? Why, yes, yes it is. And it's a... Wait, it's a special attack move. So that should deal way more damage. There we go. Alright. Go, Pokeball! Aw, calm down, LeChonk. I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. These LeChonks have some stress problems. It's fighting type? Thanks to a behavior of their of theirs known as synchronizing, an entire flock of these Pokemon can attack simultaneously in perfect harmony? What? What? Dude, that sounds terrifying. That... That sounds actually terrifying. <gasps> My child! Yeah! You will be mine! Now I under... Now this I understand why people love. I love Wooper. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at his derpy, derpy face. She's so adorable. She, she's so adorable. And also, I've seen some leaks. Now, I don't know if they're true, but if they are, then I love its evolution. You are going on my team immediately. It's dangerous for Wooper to travel alone. They line up in groups of three or four and help each other as they walk around the wetlands. Alright, I'm going to name you... Wait, crap! No! I wanted to name you! Let's see. Goodbye, Chonkachu! <sighs> yes, my precious whooper. I can see some more whoopers hanging around down there. I got some Psyduck whoopers. 
Is that a rock or is that a Pokemon? Hi, friends. L leave me alone, friends. I pose no threat to you. Oh, God, they're coming for me. To be perfectly honest, those things scare me. They can attack in perfect synchronization. And they're Pokemon. Pokemon are just pretty scary in general. With some of the things they can do. Look at all these whoopers. There are so many whoopers. And I'm not going to complain to this. Hmm, do I want to try and get a Magikarp? Hmm. Nah, I already have a water type. I can always get a Magikarp some other time. When it's easier to level him up and get a Gyarados. Or hell, I'll just find a Gyarados later on in the game. Not that uncommon. Whoa! Hello, Ruins! Oh, hey! I've seen you before. You're like a Mimic Pokemon. What? Did you just point at me? What the hell is that for? Going An awakening. There's a- there are Hypnos hanging around here? And a random trainer? Are you just hanging around waiting for someone to show up so you can fight them? Confuse Ray. Interesting. That door was so weird. Can't stop wondering what's behind that weird door or lid or cover or whatever it was. Maybe a battle will take my mind off it. You dare to challenge me? So be it. Squawkabilly has entered the building. Oh crap, I am not healed up. Drink the potion! Probably should have thought that a bit more through. Alright. Good, he went for a status move. Ha! Idiot. I don't use those attacks. Ow. That was me. Die. Oh. It's actually pretty durable. But that's his only Pokemon, so this should be pretty easy. Ah, yeah, this is no sweat. Stop growling at me! It's literally not helping you in the slightest. Goodbye. Yay! Just what could be behind that- what? Wait, I lost? Focus on the battle, idiot! Or you lost. You must focus completely and utterly on the battle. That is the key to success. That having been said, I hardly ever focus on the battle. What the fuddiddle? Alright, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching, and if you want to see me live, be sure to check out my Twitch channel down in the description below, and hopefully I'll see you for my next video. But until then, bye bye